I understand Bull Tate is operating in this territory again. They say he's pretty tough. Yeah? He ain't so tough. Who is this Bull Tate you're talking about? Ah, he's an outlaw, a killer. Cowboy used to say, there she be, turned if she ain't. Come on, son. What is this, a hold-up? You know what it is, bull. Put your hands together. If there's any bull around here, you're the one that brought it in. I ought to get a promotion for this roundup. You're as high as you'll ever get. Sheriff, here's your prisoners and here's the loot. Did you examine that package? No. Take a look at it. Why, it's nothing but a mail order catalog. Yep, that's it. Then you ain't to bull tape. Whoever said I was, you lug. You took a long chance stopping that stage for an express packet that was coming to you. Saved me a ten mile ride to town. And you, Jingle Bob Morgan, you old crow bait. What are you infesting this part of the country for? Just because this part of the country happens to be here, yeah, please. <laughs> you were so honored they had to make a sheriff out here to rub the meanness off. <laughs> this here's my partner, Montana Larkin, the ablest one he ever fought to saddle. How are you? I am. He's been the deputy his own self, so I reckon he'll make allowance for your mistake. You sure did a swell job of picking us up, partner. Skip a gun for me, will you? Sure. Didn't you know all hombres with bad records were supposed to report to me? You ain't one of them sheriffs gets paid by the mile, then. <laughs> Which way are you heading? Picking on joining that land rush into the new strip the government's opening up. 
Hey, you sure have plenty of company. Folks have been gathering over Red Gulch for weeks, ready to jump off with the signal. Well, maybe you can give us some information about that land rush, Sheriff. I'll send you over to my friend Jim Parker. He knows all about it. First, I aim to finish my bacon. Unless you change your mind and want to put the handcuffs on us again. Gus, take your men and circle back to town. All right, Sheriff. This Jim Parker I was telling you about, going on the land rush, too. His place is over on Dry Creek. If he already has a ranch, what's he going for? Because he's the smartest rancher in this part of the country. And he knows he's going to need extra range land sometime. That must be the Parker Ranch down there. Yeah. That's where the sheriff said we'd eat. Oh, isn't he a beauty, Ann? And just think, I'll be the first to ride him. Well, wish me luck. Good morning, Mr. Parker. You've got to move that stock over there up in the... Couple of strangers. Well, Mary, do you still think you can handle him? Oh, I'm sure I can, Gil. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jingle, the pretty girl. Oh, Judy's only skin deep. All ready, Gal. Oh, well, he's ready for your tryout, Mary. I say he's ready for your tryout. That is, if you're not more interested in that stranger. Oh, oh, sure, Gil. Oh, steady. Oh, oh. oh. What's she going to try to do, ride that bronc? Looks like it. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Are you all set, Mary? All right. All right, hold him, boys, until I get my horse. What's the idea? Turn him loose. Oh. Oh. Come on, man. I warned you against riding that horse. Oh, but, Dad... And you, Gillespie. Why did you let her do it? Well, I tried to talk oh, her out Dad, of it. Oh, Dad, don't blame Gil. It's my own fault. I wanted to ride him, and I did. And that's that. Oh, well... What do you want me to do with this old thing? Shorty? I got him. I want to thank you, stranger, for what you did. My name's Jim Parker. Glad to know you. This is my old sidekick, Jingle Bob. Howdy, Parker. How are you? You boys are looking for work. Better have a talk with my foreman, Gillespie. Last word, eh, cowboy? Thanks for the compliment. Mount up, everybody. Let's get back to the house. See you later, cowboy. Father didn't introduce us, Bull Tate. But I'm Mary Parker. I thought you were. But what's fooling me is, who is this fellow Bull Tate? You ought to know, the way you ran down that stagecoach this morning.
The deputies took Montana for bull cake. <laughs> and they was plumb embarrassed to find the loop was only a mail order catalog. A mail order catalog? <laughs> oh, <laughs> there was my brother Clem sent me. Happy day. I want to get that catalog. I want you to see it. You're Parker wants to see you up the house. Yeah? I'm kind of surprised to see you here when I rode in this afternoon. How do you like your new home, Steve? Better than that boost gal you got me out of. Still a ranger? No. Proving you not jelly of that job in Largo meant my last ranger day. I'm not forgetting that favor, Montana. Hey, Montana. What you do with that catalog? What have you been doing? Getting liquored up again? No, no. Not much. I was just telling the boys about that catalog Clem sent me. And about you and me getting in on that land rush. You didn't tell them about that map, did you? You mean the map showing where the gold is? Not so loud. Don't get riled up, partner. I got that map right here safe in my pocket. See that you keep it there. You'll find a catalog in my saddlebag pocket. Gotta talk to the old man. Go on. Back to the bunkhouse and keep old Jingle Bob filled up with liquor and get that map. Then what? We'll make an exact copy of it and put the original back in his pocket so as not to arouse suspicion. Good night, Mary. See you in the morning. Good night, Anne. Come in. Oh, good evening, lady. Good evening. Is Mr. Parker in? Yes. He's in his office. I'll show you in. Thank you. Worse than my liquor, but powerful heated. My old bones is just a steaming. Well, ain't no log in taking your coat off. Hmm. Hold on a minute, fella. Better not, don't you, Jingle? I'll open. I'll stay. Right. Carson, how many? Two. How many do you want? Three. How many for you? Three. What do you do now? I'll bet two dollars. I'll raise you two. Right. So you see, there's some valuable land in this new strip. I guess there is. We're all going to try and stake adjoining claims. Throw in together and work it. Not a bad idea. We'd like to have you and your partner throw in with us. I'll have to ask Jingle Bob first. Get his opinion on it. If it's all right, I'll let you know before the starting in the morning. The starting line is five miles from Red Gulch. We'll get an early start. My advice is that we all stick together. There's a lot of funny things happen on these land rushes. The other end of the chase. I got mine staked out on the Willis Rick. I hope for neighbors. Well, I'll beat you there. 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 Hadn't you better ride in here with Ann? After betting that I'd take the first place? I should say not bet. All right. Have it your own way. Watch out for two big oaks just east of a wash. That'll be the spot the map shows. All right. Let's get back to Parker before he suspects something. Stay with him until I give you the sign. Come on. No, 
Gillespie's got a copy of your partner's map showing that mineral deposit. And he aims to beat you to it. How'd he get it? I don't know how he got it. Got it. All right, folks. You got just two minutes. See, his partner ain't on this. No. Gillespie's as crooked as a snake. He's got half the Parker gang with him. And he's been bleeding that old man for years. Hey, wait a minute, Steve. If you're still with Gilly, what are you telling me about this for? Well, I've got a score to settle with Gillespie myself. Thanks. Hey, Dingle Bob. Yeah. Better gloat in that saddle. We got a hard ride today. Right. 